you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before Welcome back to the channel or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you ever see on my face What's up? I am Jen. I have another meal prep video coming at you guys today This video is actually going to go up last Sunday This is last week's meal prep that a lot of you guys have been waiting on the English muffin breakfast sandwich The amazing protein bowls and then I also prepped up a couple dinners because if you've been following then you know that I just was out of town And so I prepped up a couple dinners just to make it easier through the week so that I could prepare to travel and be away from home get all the things done so I did prep up a couple dinners and then the awesome lunches and breakfast sandwiches that you guys have been waiting for but I didn't end up posting it on Sunday because I did a live Nicole and I did a live on Sunday instead so I pushed this video back until this week so if you guys didn't check out that live go check it out I'll link it up above after you get done watching this meal prep video because I know a ton of you guys are waiting on this so without a bunch of gabbing let's go ahead and jump into it first up is the breakfast sandwich nothing groundbreaking here guys super simple and easy just making a quick English muffin breakfast sandwich. It's going to come together super easy. You can throw whatever you want on it. I'm using these 100 calorie multi-grain Thomas English muffins. I actually had planned to do a sourdough English muffin, but the ones that I wanted have been out of stock at like every store. So I had these in the freezer, so I'm going to go ahead and use these up on it. I'm going to throw one of the great value turkey sausages. Just going to throw these in the air fryer, throw that on the English muffin. We're going to add a slice of the provolone Sargento ultra thin cheese which is 40 calories a slice. We're going to throw one garlic and herb laughing cow cheese on there and then we're going to cook up some egg whites. I have this pan here that I got from Amazon. It's amazing. Like the perfect size to make each of them and I'm making four of them so this is perfect. I'm just going to hit it with a little non-stick spray and throw some of this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse in the egg white and it's going to cook these up perfect for the sandwiches. I have this linked in my Amazon store down below. My egg whites are cooking up perfectly there. I just threw a lid on so the top will cook a little bit more while the sausage is finishing up in the air fryer. And while it only has like a minute left, I'm going to go ahead and spread my laughing cow cheese on each of the sandwiches. I am doing one wedge per sandwich. Would you stay till the morning light? Oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Stay with me now till the morning light for you turn away I just want to And just like that they're ready to rock and roll and I did not toast the English muffin because when on the morning that I have these I'm just going to pop the entire sandwich right in the air fryer warm it all up it'll take a couple minutes and it will be good to go these took less than 10 minutes to throw together and you could do anything on these Canadian bacon would be really good morning of if you want to throw some avocado or something on there it'd be really awesome I'm going to get these wrapped up and we'll move on to lunch things, but not when you're with her I can see that Next up is lunch. We are making some Black and Tyson chicken strip protein bowls. Made this over the weekend and it turned out phenomenal and came together in like 10 minutes, which you guys know is my jam. So we're going to be making up a few for this week. I am using one full bag of cauliflower rice per protein bowl. I found these veggie full parmesan herb rice cauliflower this is a teriyaki rice cauliflower this one has diced butternut squash and parsley in it this one has pineapple peas carrots and a sweet and savory seasoning the macros are pretty legit on it this is the one i had over the weekend with the butternut squash 70 calories a serving which is three quarters of a cup two grams protein and there's three and a half servings per container but i'm using an entire bag per protein bowl these have a little bit better macros 40 calories a serving which is three quarters a cup two grams protein three and a half servings per bag but again i'm going to use the entire bag per protein bowl then i'm going to throw in probably about five 
and a half ounces of chicken per bowl. And then I'm gonna add one container of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. This is the low fat. It's 120 calories, 19 grams of protein. It gives it like the perfect creaminess and deliciousness. It was phenomenal and is incredibly easy. So I'm gonna start by throwing my chicken strips in the air fryer. Only need to put them in there just for a few minutes. Then I'm gonna chop them up and mix them with the rice cauliflower. You could throw these in the microwave if you wanna make this even easier, but I find that when you cook them in the microwave, it holds more moisture. So I'm gonna saute these in a fry pan. Just takes a couple minutes. Then we'll throw our diced chicken in there, mix in our cottage cheese and our protein bowls will be good to go. Now we are moving on to dinner. I believe I've shown this in a meal prep before that I like prepped up for lunch, but this week I'm prepping it up for dinner because it's gonna be such a crazy week. I'm prepping a couple dinners ahead of time and I figured I'd show you guys this one again because it's super easy and it's absolutely delicious. I am making it in the Dutch oven this time, but you also can make this in the crock pot. It is ranch salsa verde chicken, super easy. I'm using some boneless skinless chicken breast tenderloins, get these from Sam's Club. And I also am using one pack of the boneless skin chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are a lot juicier and tender and delicious and just add a ton of flavor. However, because they are higher in calories and fat, I am only going to do one pack of the chicken thighs and then go in with the chicken breast tenderloins. To it, I am going to be adding this entire jar of salsa verde. This is the mild salsa verde, 10 calories a serving. And then I'm going to throw in some chopped onion flakes, some Kinder's buttery steakhouse, because if you know, you know. And then also you can just use like a ranch seasoning packet if you want. I have this Flavor Gods Ranch Seasoning, which has super good ingredients, zero calories, all of that. So I don't have a ton left, so I'm probably just going to finish it off with this recipe. But I'm going to go ahead and get them seasoned up and kind of brown them in my Dutch oven first. And then I'm just going to put them in the oven on low and let them cook for a little while while I finish the rest of my meal prep. Okay, in the bottom of the Dutch oven here, I hit it with some of the avocado oil non-stick spray. Threw the meat in there, threw some seasoning on. I'm just going to brown up both sides, and then I'll show you the next step. I have all of the chicken browned exactly like I want. I dumped the rest of that Flavor God Ranch seasoning on there. Did some of the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, some of the chopped onion flakes. Now I'm going to dump the entire jar of the Salsa Verde right in there. I've already turned the heat off on the stove. I have my oven preheated to 250 degrees because I'm just going to let these cook low and slow probably for about an hour or so. They're almost cooked through now, but they'll just get super tender and falling apart, and then they will be ready to rock and roll for tomorrow night's dinner. And I dumped some more onion flakes on, as you can see. I absolutely love those. They are bomb. And this is one of those meals that is good to make ahead of time because it just gets better the longer that it sits in the fridge. So it's going to be chef's kiss tomorrow. For dinner is going to be some barbecue turkey meatballs. These are super easy to make. Throw on these in the crock pot and they'll be good to go for tonight's dinner. I already have my meat weighed out here. I have 30 ounces of the 93% lean ground turkey farm to family. You guys know I love that brand. To it, I'm gonna be adding no sugar added sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, some grated Parmesan cheese, buttery steakhouse, of course, some breadcrumbs. These are the Simply Pope breadcrumbs. I get these from Winn-Dixie. It's the only place I can find them. They have really good macros and literally three ingredients, not all the other junk that a lot of the other breadcrumbs have. But again, I can only find these at Winn-Dixie. They have one plain and one with Italian seasoning in it. I just get the plain and add my own seasoning to it. Going to be adding chopped onion flakes, parsley, and two eggs. Going to go ahead and get all this weighed out and get my meatballs rolled up and throw them in the crock pot. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you need, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want Lunch and dinners for the week are done. Well, I didn't do full dinners for all of the week, 
but catch my weekly vlog and you'll see how that plays out. But we have our barbecue turkey meatballs. I'm getting ready to put those on low for about four to six hours. You don't want to overcook meatballs because then they get tough. So I'm going to do those on low for a few hours and then I'll check them and that'll be dinner tonight. We have lunch for every day of the week. These protein bowls are chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Then we have our breakfast sandwiches. I already had one for this morning and then I have three more for the rest of the week. We have our salsa verde chicken in there looking absolutely amazing. And All right, guys. So that does it for this week's meal prep video. I hope you guys got some ideas from this and that you loved it and throw some of these things in your own meal prep rotation. Let me know down below if you guys do. The protein bowls were a hundred out of ten absolutely phenomenal i will be prepping those again next week I'll probably just make the teriyaki veggie full version the other one with the butternut squash was amazing too it's just a little bit higher calories so if you can work that in your macros 10 out of 10 recommend absolutely delicious those english muffin sandwiches could not be easier to make and they are super easy in the morning i threw them in the air fryer for a few minutes warmed them up and they were good to go i'm actually going to be making a different version next week so let me know down below if you guys want me to film that as well and also the salsa verde chicken highly highly recommend that is super easy you could meal prep that for lunch throughout the week or for a dinner we paired it with yellow rice and it was chef's kiss but you could do it with mashed potatoes and a veg you could do it with white jasmine rice you could do it with a ton of different things it was phenomenal so let me know down below if you guys try any of those what else you want to see what things you are meal prepping and absolutely loving i would love to get new ideas from you guys as well if you guys aren't following me over on ig definitely check me out over there because you can see throughout the week in real time how i am preparing these things or what i'm pairing them with and all the good fun so definitely check me out over there at in with jen i'll pop my handle on the screen here if you aren't subscribed make sure to subscribe click all your notifications that way you won't miss out on any future videos that i will have coming and thank you guys all so very much for watching and i will catch you in the next video